I don't know what to expect. So enter carefully into the fly zone. Fly Navarro. Alex. <laughs> Shot collar. Uh, outdoors. <laughs> I keep getting confused. You're good. You're getting it. I know. Tell me about the yarn. What are we doing? Uh, crab flies. Yarn is, in my opinion, the best form because it doesn't sound... Uh, you can use EP fibers and it's great, but when the yarn hits the water, even with the same lead eyes, I think it has a different sound that doesn't bother the fish as much. Okay. Uh, I have no proof to that other than a week on bonefish and permit flats in the Keys and not spooking as many with these. Okay. Uh, so again, these come in literally hundreds of colors. There's like three full aisles dedicated to them at the craft store. Um, it's a simple yarn, just twist it up. And uh, you can get single colors like this tan or the brown, or you can get this camouflage one that's black and brown and tan and green, all those great colors. And you can make crab flies. You can also do shrimp flies with them. Um, and what do you unfluff them or? You can unfluff them. You can basically take that little lice brush again and you can comb this out, and uh, it'll just be a frizzy mess at the end, and you can trim it down, or you can leave it twisted up like that, and you just have a simple body, and you cut it to the shape and size you want. Pretty interesting. Great material, makes great patterns. It's another one of those ones you gotta have in your fly box. Makes great patterns and great mittens. Outstanding mittens. Thanks for joining us here in the Fly Zone. Mm -hmm.